वेलकम नमस्ते दिस इज शोभा राव स्माइल मेकर डियर एंड इट्स अ प्लेजर टू बी इन द स्टूडियो यर विथ माई एस्टीम्ड गेस्ट टूडे वी हैव मेट ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ रिलीजिंग अ वीडियो अबाउट मैंगलोर इट इज कॉल्ड मेमोरेबल मैंगलोर एंड वी हैव वेरी एस्टीम्ड पीपल ऑन अ पैनल टूडे वी हैव नैना Fernandez she is the inspiration behind this whole project she is the one who said let's do something about mangalore and let's tell people who don't know about mangalore let them know more about mangalore so thank you nena this whole project was initiated because of her nena is a psychologist and psychotherapist and an interior designer from sophia college bombay and we also have a very very learned person here mr william he is the author of a fantastic coffee table book called land of south canara and he talk he has done detailed research about mangalore and the whole district of south canara and he's also from gallery orchid he has promoted a lot of artists and so thank you very much for being here today thank you and we have girish rao and he's a pers- corporate person um basically grew up in mangalore went all around the world in his bpl lg sr uh, different roles and then he's come back to mangalore and you know so today we are it's a great pleasure to release this video about mangalore so i think let's first release the my video and then we will talk about it yeah so yeah so this is yeah yeah So thank you very much for the release of this video and it's called Memorable Manglo the release in English Hindi and Kannada on this auspicious date of 2222 okay yeah so before we start any further can we just uh, have a look at the video and we will talk about it later thank you Namaste. This is Shobha Rao Smile Maker here, creating smiles with this video to inform you about our coastal city of Karnataka, Mangalore, starting with an M, which is very different from Bangalore, starting with a B. So, welcome to memorable Mangalore. This coastal city of Karnataka has nine different names like Mangaluru in Kannada, Kudla in Tulu. Kodial in Konkani and more. You can reach here by air on the rare tabletop runway or by road amidst amazing greenery. You can enjoy nature as you arrive by the glass top Vista Dome train. You can come here by international cruise ships or take a boat ride on the river. Mangalore has the rare honor of being surrounded by the Western Ghat hill station scenery on one side. attractive beaches of the konkan coast on the other side and netravati and gurpur rivers in the middle the city center called hampankatta has an ancient well town hall nehru ground clock tower offices malls excellent hospitals and educational institutions and many banks which had originated here are you aware that the first female freedom fighter of india is Rani Abakka who battled against the Portuguese at the Mangalore fort what remains now is a sultan bateri watch tower which was also used by tipu sultan to store artillery it is believed that lord parashurama had prayed to lord shiva at what is now the famous khatri temple of mangalore and he had reclaimed this coastal land from the sea snake worship at naga banas is common here with powerful snake temples like kudupu or subramanya a unique ritual called naga mandala is considered very auspicious to attend religious tourism draws people to the many ancient temples here with their distinct architectural style and traditional festive rituals watch mangalore city brighten up during the grand navaratri celebrations with devi idols taken out in long processions with live music dancing tableaus costumes and especially the unique 
tiger dance performances. Attend a Bhuta Kola, which is a colorful spirit worship ritual with song and dance involving all communities. The firecracker show year is usually put up by the Biari Muslim community members who are descendants of the first century Arab traders here. Watch the fishermen's activity around the port area or visit one of the oldest mosques of the country. There are many beautiful churches here too. The fresco paintings at the Aloysius Chapel are breathtaking. The missionaries have contributed greatly to the development of Mangalore in areas like education, printing press, coffee curing, tile making and more. The Kadri Park or the Pilikula Nisargadama are worth a visit. The artisan's village keeps alive the traditional skills of talented local craftsmen. The remodeled Guttumane showcases the ancient lifestyle in community homes. Walk on the streets of Mangalore to see new swanky apartments or ancient homes both next to each other. Do try the varieties of tasty local vegetarian or fish speciality items here for your breakfast, lunch or snacks. A visit to Ideal Ice Cream for Gadbad and other ice creams should be on your to-do list. Have a toddy drink, cheer up in the many bars or relax as a guest in the clubs of Mangalore. Watch local sports like Kambala where bulls race on muddy tracks or even watch cockfighting. Play the ancient game of Channe Mane or go for your Yakshagana performance where artists do their own makeup. Shop for brass, copper items, spices, pickles, palm jaggery, rare jackfruit or mango items, saris and more. Attend a detox course at the many naturopathy, yoga or Ayurvedic centers here. Admire the local private bus operators who work efficiently with precision timing in spite of the hot and humid weather. Do make day trips around Mangalore for pilgrimage temple sites, Thuru Museum, trekking or water adventure sports. There is so much to discover here in Mangalore, which is a unique blend of rich ancient culture along with modern amenities. I am sure you are now inspired to visit Mangalore and smile. See you here soon. Thank you. So finally, this video has been reduced, uh, has been released thanks to you all. Uh, and you know, we are having, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, the reason why we chose this 2222 date, you know, um, we have traveled all around the place and we realized that, you know, one thing India lacked many years ago was cleanliness. So I, you know, I was a finalist for the Lead India contest in 2007. I was one of the 25 finalists of Times of India. That's me down there. And in 2007, I had written down, if I win the contest, my project would be to clean India. And in 2013, you know, the local newspaper in Bombay covered me, midday paper, and it says, uh, Mahim resident wants to clean India by 2222. And before I realized that this is such an important date, it has already become 2222. And thanks, you know, the attitude of people towards cleanliness has really changed. Believe me, this was even before Swachh Bharat started, you know. So we really want something, it will happen. And that is why this is such an important date for me. And I must say, Mangalore is such a clean city. There's not much work to be done here, comparatively, you know. The, the attitude of the people towards cleanliness is much, much better now. So then I thought it's important for me to tell everybody what Mangalore really is. Because a lot of my North Indian friends and friends around the world did not know much about Mangalore. So you put on YouTube, you either get the beaches or you get the food or you get the temples. You don't get a comprehensive video. And that's how with her you know, encouragement, we started on this project. We thought we're just going to talk to each other and this is how it ended. So I think I will start with her. Okay. What do you have to say about the video and about Manglo? You've been here for such a long time. Yeah, uh, yeah congratulations uh, to both husband and wife. <laughs> 
it's a very comprehensive and very you know you couldn't I couldn't take my eyes off or get distracted even for a single second because you've managed to capture the entirety in this one short 5 minute video okay and this is a 20 minute video and then i realized that people will not watch 20 minutes so i reduced it to 5 minutes so i probably release it 20 minutes later <laughs> brilliantly done and uh, for me manglo was a city where i was born brought up schooled and it is still one of the most beautiful and peaceful cities in the world uh, manglo not only is the gateway to karnataka but it's declared the safest city in karnataka like my intention now is to make manglo the safest city in india very importantly manglo has rich diversity because of the six predominant communities in manglo it's the education hub from time immemorial there is no other place where you can get medical and health facilities like you can get in manglo furthermore i'd like to say the whole of india knows manglo as the cradle of banking but we would like to show manglo to you all through shobha's video and i hope we are going to achieve a lot of viewership for it and i wish you all the very best shobha brilliant task thank you and i we hope to get a lot of visitors also yes and they, we want them not only to come to manglo and see manglo we want them to experience manglo yeah. you know experience the culture experience the diversity the food so much to experience here yeah so i think next i would like mr william to uh talk about manglo is really an expert in the subject uh thank you shobha for this opportunity to come to the studio and uh, say something about your work uh when i started research on land called south canada the main inspiration for me was there is never a day without festivity in uh, in south canada now by south canada i mean the undivided uh, south canada uh including udupi district for all cultural reasons uh, udupi and mangalore are one uh, one one uh, one region where we share uh, almost everything i said the northern most part of the district uh, shares a little different culture than we in mangalore so that way this video has captured almost everything uh and uh, the present time is to not waste time uh, flipping pages of the book the trend is to do it quickly and uh, as fast as possible so almost on uh, in 3 minutes we have given a mini land call south canara i must yes. say uh, so as i said there is never boring moment here in manglo naina said it's a most uh, brilliant city now uh, they say it's a intellectual capital of karnataka i remember one of the guest guest in uh, during the release of my book saying this uh, this is a intellectual capital of karnataka and quite reasonably so because uh, when Uh, the most of indian cities started educating themselves we were already around 75 years ahead uh, uh jesuits came here in 1880 uh, and even before there was a government college here uh, so all that was possible and people could say and call it as uh, uh, the intellectual capital of capital of karnataka so therefore i think it's a brilliant task there is a never boring moment here all the people are always welcome here and they will be treated so very well that they wouldn't go on to go back so uh, it's a brilliant job you have done and uh, you have captured the real essence of uh, south canara thank you thank you so much yeah and um, i must i really acknowledge him because his book is wonderful with so many pictures and it actually gave me the structure because it covered almost everything what is you know i took that as a base to you know make research on each of them in detail so thank you so thank much you. for you know so much of work you did you made my work easier yeah anyhow and i would like to talk um, uh, uh, mr girish to talk he is the one who said back to back yeah i i am a classical case like uh, what shob always says you can take a man out of mangalore but you can never take mangalore out of a man <laughs> so that's uh, what it is and uh, you know one of the things i always say is that when i did my mba in b in banaras uh, in the north of india 
all way back, you know, 82, they used to fool me, my friend, saying that, Ki, do you have a petrol pump in your city? I mean, that was the kind of impression that they had about this city. And uh, recently, when I had a conversation with the same friend of mine, and he asked me, why did you go back? And I gave him the six reasons why Mangalore, I, I came back to Mangalore. I said, the population, I know everybody in this town. I said, it has got one of the best medical facilities. It has got the best connectivity. It has got the best education. And the people are so nice. The food is good. And I mean, what else? Uh, the, he came back to me the next day and he said, look, I looked up the whole of North India and I couldn't find a single city which actually meets the parameters of Mangalore. And even if I want to retire and get out of this city, polluted city of Delhi, there's no way I can find a place to think. So that's what Mangalore is. And uh, I think, you know, people should really know about this wonderful little city of us. So I think Shobha has done a good job on that. Yeah, so what I what I really like about Mangalore, as basically I was since I grew up all of my life in Bombay, and I came to Mangalore just two years back, I was a little worried, wondering you know what I exactly uh, this place has and what it. But I found it was so wonderful. I found the people so wonderful. You know, the nature of the people is so good. And from years, everybody, whether it is Hindus, Muslims, Christians, everybody has been living in harmony. The media. I don't know, picks up only some wrong incidents to talk about. And what I really liked was this city is a blend of all the modern amenities and the old ancient rituals and customs. And the beauty is that you go to any function that is happening, any of these, you will find people of all ages taking part fully in the program. So usually in all these rituals, you, know, you only see... Uh, mostly senior citizens. In other cities, you know, we hardly see the youngsters coming. But you go to the you, temple, there are youngsters serving food. You go, you know, I'm, that is the beauty of this place, you know. Even, all generations work to keep the, they're very proud, Mangaloreans are very proud of their culture. And they, they keep it, you know, work hard to keep it alive. So, I, we are by this, you know, see, that we want you to visit Mangalore and we want you to smile. You know, those days I had a vision of Clean India by 2222. And now my vision is to live in a world of smile makers. Corona has taught us that we are just living for few. Uh, we just live for today. We don't know what, what happened yesterday. and We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So just find smiles and make smiles wherever you are. Come to our Mangalore, you know, and I'm sure you'll have lots to smile and lots of memories to take back. In the end, you want to say anything? Please. Yeah. I'd just like to say, uh, build on what Girish said about the connectivity. I want to highlight this one point that within an hour or more, you can reach any holiday destination of your choice, whether it is the lush coffee plantations, whether it's a beach destination, a waterfall or a riverfront, whether it's an ancient fort or whether the, we have quite a few temple towns around Mangalore. So there is never a dull moment. And in the family, there are enough activities for all the members, even if they have varied interest. So I welcome you all to our city, our beloved city called Mangalo. Come, taste our food, spend time with us, and enjoy the beauty that God has gifted to us. Thank you. Yes. So, one last few sentences. Yeah. Uh, Shobha, you said uh, the young people are participating in rituals. Mm. I think that is never going to die. That's what it's so, so structured. Yeah, that is so structured, so very well into the the hierarchy yeah. that nobody wants to miss out on uh, their role into the entire festivity. Yeah. You see a young Brahmin dancing, holding the deity of the temple and a dancing, very, very young Brahmin. Also the Buddha, Buddha Kola side, you have a young people uh, doing all those rituals. Mm -hmm. So it's never going to die. I mean, I had those apprehensions way back when I started this book because mm -hmm. the main criteria of the book was to cover the subjects of extinction and subjects of distinction. Uh, so they were most of the things were extinct by then, like uh, occupations, for example. But this ritual, theater, ritual, cultural, uh, all aspects, I, I think they are going to stay around. So that's a, that's a really hopeful uh, because after 25 years of I have I have been seeing this this thing, it will be. I think it will be there. Yeah, yeah. So that way, this will promote uh, more more interest in the culture. Yeah, yeah. I, I just want to add. 
Uh, one great thing about this place, this district and the city is the great harmony between all the religions that are here. Most of us here are all educated in the Jesuit institutions. We have brought up in that. Uh, so we have been going to churches and then people have been, you know, intermingling. It's been amazing. And the same thing applies even because for the most of the Christian community, they come together in December, wherever, whichever part of the world they are. Even a function like a rose is so well participated by all the youngsters. So across religions, you know, it it has been a great harmony yeah. and I think that's one of the most nicest things and it all possibly comes from the fact because we are just a 7 lakh population. Everybody knows everybody in this uh, city so that's what it is. I would just like to give a small token of appreciation. My profession, I'm a trainer and um, soft skills trainer and mentoring is a very f favorite subject of mine and this book of mine became a bestseller so I would like to present that thank to you. you thank Shobha. you so much. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you, thank yeah. You, you. So this is basically about his journey as a mentor okay. uh, and all the men people he had mentored over the years. Okay. So thank you for your time and thank you, thank thank you for thank your you attention. And please, you know, see this video, like, subscribe, share to everyone. And please do visit our Mangalore. Thank you. <laughs>